If I didn't go to SAS, one of two distinct things would have happened, and both of them include the person you see before you not standing here today. I was dark and deeply depressed at my old school. I, feeling invisible and having little to no friends doesn't do much for your self-esteem. And even if I managed to stave off the pressures, I don't think I would be standing in front of you the same person I am today. So my daily routine starts when I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, eat my breakfast, have a small conversation with my family, and then I am out and waiting for the bus by 7.10. I usually wait for the bus anywhere from 5 to 25 minutes because it shows up when it wants to. So I get on that bus, I ride on that bus for approximately an hour, and then I reach my home school. I wait at my home school for usually five minutes for the next bus to arrive, and then I get on that bus where I ride for approximately another hour, including idling in a parking lot for 30 minutes. And then I finally reach SAS at about 9.05. Well, that's what I think about when I'm idling in that parking lot in December and it's cold and I'm cold, is I am accepting the challenges. I'm accepting challenge and I'm going to achieve distinction in my life. I'm doing this for a purpose and I, I have that purpose, I hold that purpose, and I'm going to become what I want to be. Through SAS, I was able to enroll in Syracuse University, the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs for the 2017 Undergraduate Policy Studies. That's, that's my dream. That's what I've really always wanted to do and it's all what I've wanted to do since I've gone to SAS. So it's this determination to be successful that's, I, I definitely, I had it before SAS, but SAS cultivated it and made me grow into this person that I wanted to be. So it's this determination to be successful and to be the man who I wish to be.